So I thought today we would experiment with some of the newer pieces that I've been purchasing for the new home, specifically the kitchen items that I've been gathering up. I thought we would go ahead and just kind of experiment with that today. Today's video is going to be a bit of an exploration of sorts. If I were to say, probably the style that I'm most trying to emulate would probably be Amber Interiors. It's the designer Amber Lewis, she has uh, just a beautiful eye for things and I love her styling. And if you haven't seen her styling, um, and if you like coffee table books, pick up one of her design books and, and go through it. It's just, just such beautiful things. She really has an amazing style and she uses those warmer tones, warm woods, um, organic textures. She has very streamlined furniture. So I would just say it's just a very um, inviting and comfortable feeling that her style seems to emulate. And I just, I want that for our home. I really want people who come over to really feel like they're being embraced in a warm hug. And so that's really the style that I'm trying to achieve in the new home. So I thought today we would experiment with some of the newer pieces that I've been purchasing for the new home. For today's video, we're going to pretend that this shelving unit back here is actually a hutch kind of like the one that I intend to put into the new house. And so just pretend there's glass doors on this when I go to decorate, but that's really the direction I'm headed is to use it like I would use a china hutch basically. And there's really two reasons why I want to experiment with all of these things today. First one being the most important, I want to make sure that this really is the design style that I want to work towards for the new home and make sure that it really works for Corey and I, and that um, all these blended things will just really blend together nicely and seamlessly and make it a home that we feel comfortable in. And the second reason is that going forward, I'm going to continue buying new uh, decor items and things. And I want to make sure that I'm just not willy nilly buying things to go into this home. I want to have a purpose and a direction. I just want to make sure that I'm spending my money wisely and not on things that I don't already have or that don't actually work for uh, my design ideas. So really that's the purpose of today's video. And I'm hoping that you'll find this useful. Maybe if you're embarking on some changes in your own home or, or maybe you're just curious about what kind of crazy wacky design I'm trying to come up with for the new house you know whatever it is I just I hope that I'm inspiring you all um, that's truly what I'm hoping to do here on this channel we've all styled shelves before but I find that it never hurts to refresh myself on the rules First, you need to find colors that you want to use, but be sure to limit them to only a few, otherwise the shelves can become busy and distracting. I find it really helpful when styling shelves to pull out all the things I think will work and group them by color, texture, and type. This way, I can easily pull from each group as I style, which makes things so much easier and quicker. Plus, I'm not running everywhere trying to find decor because I already have it at my fingertips. Second, you should find items that vary in height so that your styling doesn't become flat and uniform. The eye loves to find things to land on and varying height will give the shelves more interest. Also, don't be afraid to add in things like bookends for your cookbooks. You can even use other decor to prop up those books. You should even add in unexpected objects like maybe a vintage pocket watch or a mirror. Just make it fun.
third and probably one of the most important rules to shelf styling is to be sure you are zigzagging light colors and textures to keep the eye moving from shelf to shelf. Again, it really does give a more interesting and cohesive look to your shelves by keeping things from becoming too uniform and staged. You want your shelves to look haphazard, but in a very pretty and unique way. I also like to add all the larger pieces randomly throughout the shelves first to give myself a jumping off point rather than trying to decorate one single shelf at a time. Fourth, make sure to layer in all those textures and contrasting shapes and colors to give the shelves visual appeal. Using items that are textured and smooth or varying sizes of objects, even adding in things like glass and metals will elevate your shelf styling. The fifth rule to styling shelves is to be sure to group items on each shelf in a meaningful way. I know this is going to sound crazy, but by grouping your decor and items, you actually make the shelves look less cluttered and more intentional, like the items serve a purpose grouped together. When things stand alone in a single file on an individual shelf, it can look random and cluttered. A sixth rule to keep in mind is to add small framed art to your shelves. This can help to soften the decor and bring in some visual interest. They are also great layering pieces that can add dimension and height to your shelves. You can place art on easels or simply lean them on a shelf. Our seventh rule on the list is to step back and look at your shelves. Don't be afraid to rearrange things. Move items, add different items, let your eye tell you what is wrong, and then use those colors, textures, and shapes to fix the problem before moving on. If you're having trouble identifying the problem, start with one or two items first and change those out. Working small is much easier than redecorating all the shelves. For our eighth and final rule, be sure to add all those small and special touches after you've found all the right places for your key pieces. These last little items are the pretty things that give your shelves life, such as greenery, smaller decor objects, and candles. As you're about to see, some of the items I originally thought would work, I've later decided were either too big, the colors didn't work, or I felt some of the shelves needed less bulk. So here I'm adding more glass to lighten everything up. I did love the pops of navy, but when I stepped back, the color just seemed out of place, almost forced, and I just didn't like it. So I'm changing these pieces out to keep in line with a more neutral palette. And don't be afraid to layer things behind other things. It really does give more dimension to your shelf styling. These cement pairs that Corey made for me are the perfect addition to these shelves with their cooler gray tone, but they are quite heavy and rough. So to protect my vintage bowl, I placed a paper towel down to keep them from scratching the surface. I'm also adding some green stems to soften the look.
with one final item. Here is our decorated kitchen shelves using some of my newly acquired dishes, vintage decor, and other odds and ends. I've had so much fun decorating these shelves today. I know that they're very maximalist. They've got a lot going on on each shelf. And if you're someone who prefers things more simple and pared back, then know that you can still achieve this look um, with far less things on each shelf. Even one thing on each shelf would look really lovely. Just make sure you're still adhering to the rules of shelf styling and make sure that you're zigzagging your colors and your textures. I think I would even like to try to do maybe a minimalist look for fall. And if y'all would like to see something like that, leave me a comment below and let me know. You also may have noticed that I didn't use any pops of color like I usually do. And I did start off by putting some navy in some of the shelving. When I stepped back, I don't, there was just something a little bit off about it. And maybe because I didn't have enough of it, I'm not sure, but I ended up removing it as you saw and putting in the more neutral tones. I do really love it. I did add in the brass and obviously the wood. So that warmed everything up. I think for the seasons, I can change out and put color in here, you know, in any one of these um, shelves to just give it a, a little punch of color. And I think it would look really pretty. But let me know what you all think. I would love to hear your thoughts. I think everything that I've been envisioning in my head for the design of our new house is coming together beautifully. And again, the reason I wanted to do this video was just to make sure I really do truly love it. To see where I, you know, I might be missing some of the decor items that I might need to add to my collection. It's been such a joy having you all here with me. And we love hearing your comments. Um, it really does brighten our day. So please leave us some comments below, even if it's just to say hello. We, again, want to thank you all so much for your kindness and your support. Corey and I really, truly appreciate it. We appreciate you taking time out of your day and spending it here with us. Meeting all of you through the comments um, has just been so much fun. And I love the community that we're growing here. Corey and I wish you all a wonderful and amazing week ahead, and we will see you very soon in the next one. Bye for now.